Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful, postcard perfect day. It is, uh, it is December. It is Wednesday, December 1st. 2021 and uh, this is why I am a snowbird uh, heading to 75 degrees today by in a few days it will be right about 80 degrees as far as they can see into the future absolutely glorious uh, weather here in the oasis of freedom here in the Point Lonesome Swamp so uh, this is why I am a snowbird, and uh, so anyway, with all of my getting ready to sell this beautiful place like a damn fool, uh, haven't checked in with oilprice.com uh, <laughs> lately, and, and I can only imagine those poor guys at oilprice.com trying to... Uh, reanalyze, report on, advise uh, people in the, uh, you know, oil and fossil fuel investors with this roller coaster ride that we started on a few days ago as this unbelievable horseshit uh, has completely thrown everything into turmoil. Uh, is it the single biggest uh, pr one day price drop in the barrel uh, price of a barrel of oil uh, a few days ago? Just the, the oil market's in shambles right now. And, uh, <laughs> and these poor guys at oilprice.com doing their best to uh, paint lipstick on a pig. It just ain't working just is not working uh, painting lipstick on this pig but uh, I do hear that uh, I hear rumors that gasoline prices uh, could be dropping as much as 25 cents per gallon over the next couple of weeks I love their expression uh, how gas prices rise like a rocket fall like a feather you know so oil goes up 13 percent uh in one day and within 20 minutes the price of a gallon of gas goes up 20 percent and then when oil goes down 13 percent in one day hopefully in uh, the next two weeks the price of gas will uh, will follow but anyway I've picked out a handful of stories and you, you can pretty much d d just throw a dart with your predictions now remember when I, the last time I did one of these when was it two weeks ago two or three weeks ago uh, all of these articles talking you know all of these analysts talking about oil going through the roof and uh, up to $200 a barrel oil uh, next year uh, <laughs> and now they're just hoping to hold steady at $75 so anyway let's hear uh, how oilprice.com is handling the latest uh, corona panic sledgehammer where uh, Okay, take it away, oilprice.com, after I put my two pairs of glasses on. <clears throat> Nightmare November. There you go. <coughs> Nightmare November for oil as prices plunge again. So this is, I guess, from yesterday. Oil prices plunged again on Tuesday as uncertainty over the new corona panic variant persist. Oil prices are set for their largest monthly drop since March of 2020 at the start of the corona panic. Despite reassurances from the Pfizer CEO about the effectiveness of their vaccine, global markets 
are on edge about the O word. Anyway, after a brief respite on Monday, oil prices plunged again yesterday as the market continues to fret about the potential impact of the new corona panic on economies and oil demand. Oil prices are set for a 20% slide for the month of November, the worst monthly drop in crude benchmarks since March 2020 when the panic began. So where was, um, let's see, oil dropped 3.24% yesterday to 71 a barrel, and I'm pretty sure oil is down a little bit more today. We'll call it, it's right around $70 a barrel. Um, there you go. Uh, I like it. Related oil prices bounce back after Black Friday collapse. Uh, yeah, really. So, it, you know, it collapsed on Black Friday and they were already trying to tell their oil price and their oil investors about how it bounced back. And, and now it's down again. Um, there you go. Good for the Corona Panic. Three cheers for the Corona Panic uh, for bringing down the price of a gallon of gas. Uh, alongside oil prices, the U.S. natural gas benchmark was also plunging uh, on Tuesday, down by over 6%, the lowest level in three months on the back of forecast of a warmer than expected winter. There you go. Uh, Okay, uh, there are so many stories to choose from. Uh, Canada's ambitious new plan to save its oil sands. Let's check this one out. Canada's ambitious new plan to, I didn't know, realize its oil sands were in danger. Yes. Uh, So I love it. They're they're using geothermal energy to mine their oil sands. A renewable energy trend could lend itself to the oil and gas industry. Yes. <laughs> with with the potential for geothermal energy to help oil sands to thrive for another 30 years. Yes, I, 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 I absolutely love this. Uh, and this is right out of Orwell. Ongoing feasibility studies could provide a way for Canada to reduce its carbon emissions in line with the Paris Agreement and COP26 expectations without cutting its oil production. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, the sick, twisted irony in, in, in this story. Good Lord, do not uh, lose your sense of humor. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oil prices crash as Corona panic does what Biden could not. I love the name of this reporter is Tom Cool. Tom Cool, I wish you could look at a picture of Tom Cool. He looks like a great guy. 
renewed corona panic fears have managed to do what Joe Biden could not, sending oil prices crashing as a new wave of demand destruction looms. I love that term, demand destruction. Um, oil prices experienced one of their worst trading days in memory on Friday, plunging across the board by over 10%. Yeah, yeah, we've heard all that. Uh, anyway, so of course, you know, uh, it was, uh, you know, obviously Joe Biden uh, trying to save his ass to bring down a gallon of gas, uh, doing everything in his power, you know, releasing oil out of the strategic petroleum reserve, everything he can to save his political ass by bringing down the price of a gallon of gasoline so American consumers can burn more and more and more gasoline. Uh, the number one concern of American consumers uh, good Lord, uh, and then there, I'll come back to this news reel. So, here we go. As oil prices crash, U.S. rig count climbs. There you go. Drilling activity in the United States continues to pick up, according to Baker Hughes, with a six-rig rise to the number of active drilling rigs this week alone. The total rig count is now at 569. That is up 249 active oil rigs. Uh, since this time last year. Um, okay, that, that's oil and gas. The oil rig count uh, this week rose to 467, a six rig increase and a 226 rig increase since this time last year, you know, since Joe Biden was elected, uh, oil rigs up 226. The number of gas rigs stayed the same at 102. Oh boy. You remember that Jim Jones character drinking that Kool-Aid? that cult leader down there in South America and Guyana. Well, we have a new Kool-Aid gushing in Guyana. Guyana to become the 11th country to produce over 1 million barrels per day. The tiny South American nation of Guyana <clears throat> has emerged as the hottest offshore drilling location on the continent over the last six years. The swath of oil discov discoveries made by ExxonMobil and its partners offshore recently saw the energy super major upgrade its resources estimate for the block from 9 billion to 10 billion barrels of oil equivalent. Yes, the energy super major success in offshore Guyana sees it forecasting that it will be pumping over 800,000 barrels of light sweet crude of oil per day by 2026. There are signs that Guyana's oil boom is gaining greater momentum 
with other international energy companies expressing interest in developing operations in the country. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. Oh no, my computer. I'm a, I'm getting too far out here from the uh, from uh, the uh, router. Oh no. Anyway, I'm just gonna have to do the Rolodex of headlines since I can't open any other. I wanted to uh, look into this article about Norway. Uh, Norway uh, getting to ramp up its oil and gas uh, production. So what they're doing, kind of like Canada, you know, using geothermal energy to mine tar sands oil. Uh, so the way you get that squirrely like that, the way that uh, Norway is financing its big boost in oil and gas. I'm sorry, it's, it's supposed push for clean green energy in Norway is to pump more oil and gas. So they're gonna pump more fossil fuels in Norway, sell the oil on the open market, take that money from all of the extra fossil fuels there uh, producing to fund green energy infrastructure in their country. E again, guys, if you lose your Orwellian uh, sense of humor here in the collapse of global industrial civilization, you can't you can't make this crap up. Uh, all right, let's just look at a. Just go down the list, pick out a few. All I can read is the title in the uh, first sentence. Uh, so now the oil industry is facing a labor shortage. There you go. Uh, OPEC expects global oil inventories to surge Global oil stocks, not, not the price of a piece of oil, you know what I'm saying, the actual stock of the oil itself. Global oil stocks are set to rise faster than previously expected. Hmm, who would have thunk it? Uh, here in Cushing, Oklahoma, Cushing crude inventories are rising as oil prices fall. Yep, yep, yep. All right, expect cheaper gasoline this week. Thank you, Corona Panic. Americans should get a breather at the pump this week as renewed Corona Panic fears pushed crude oil prices lower. Uh... A triple, triple A said, okay, now, I remember two weeks ago, we were talking about anywhere from $100 to $200 in oil, uh, a barrel oil uh, a couple of weeks ago. Now, analysts expect to average 75, expect Brent oil to average $75 in 2022. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, all right, I'm glad to see that damn pipeline in British Columbia is still shut down as British Columbia forced to extend fuel rationing as pipeline shut down continues. All right. You will not believe this, guys, that the Russian gas giant Gazprom reports record-breaking profits amid sur surging gas prices. All right.
debate what are the guys in Saudi Arabia say well this guy is claiming uh, from Aramco oil markets overreacted to new corona panic fears thank you uh, oil markets and everybody else on the damn planet uh, overreacted uh, good Lord uh, thank you uh, Saudi Arabia all right can you say nuclear war Russia warns the US not to interfere with the Nord Stream 2 gas line the Russian government has warned the US not to put further pressure on anyone over the certification of the 11 billion dollar Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline uh, anybody who doesn't think that a nuclear war cannot be uh, set off uh, by a gas pipeline uh, think again uh, we could easily have the world go up in a mushroom cloud over a fight over a, a damn gas pipeline uh, how about uh, the surprise oil price crash there you go all right, what's going on in China? Industrial metals rise as China's property market bounces back. Now, of course, this came out one day before, you, you, you know, the newest corona panic, panic on steroids. So, uh, who knows? Uh, base metals are on the rise again after a series of positive announcements over the week has brought new optimism to China's property sector. Yeah, let's we'll see how long that uh, renewed optimism lasts. All right. What is going on in Brazil? Well, the same thing is going on in Guyana same thing that's going on in Norway, same thing that's going on in Russia, same thing that is going on in the good old USA. Brazil's oil major plans to invest $68 billion in boosting oil production. Brazil's Petrobras plans to invest $68 billion in expanding its crude oil production, a figure that represents 84% of its total planned investments between now and 2026. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, all right, what's going on in the steel market? Steel prices remain elevated as production slides. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I had these metal, uh, these metal scrappers out here this morning, uh, loading up uh, their truck. You know, just a regular size pickup truck. And I asked. It takes them about. Uh, it takes these guys about uh, 30 minutes to load up uh, my <coughs> former neighbor's garbage out in her yard that's been piling up for eight years they're getting $75 for scrap metal for a pickup truck full of scrap metal bringing $75 they seem quite happy making $75 in about a half an hour of picking up crap out of this uh, junkyard next door all right let's see a few more uh, all of this stuff about the strategic petroleum reserve release 
uh, being a joke, uh, U.S. Treasury gives Chevron more time to leave Venezuela. There's a whole lot packed into that. The U.S. Treasury Department giving Chevron Oil Company more time to wind up their operations and pack up their bags in Venezuela. It, it would take me a long time to unpack that. All right, here, uh, looking at gas prices, Corona panic fears put temporary chill on LNG prices. Um, Liquid national gas prices in Asia have stopped climbing on concerns of the potential impact of the new corona panic uh, variant. There you go. Uh, All right, what's going on with ethanol? I'm having a hard time finding this ethanol-free gas down here. U.S. ethanol woes hamper gasoline blending. Damn. Supply chain disruptions, primarily delays in rail transportation, coupled with high outright ethanol prices, have brought ethanol inventories in the U.S. East Coast to a seven-year low. There you go. Good for that. Uh, all right. Lebanon. Lebanon is cranking up their offshore oil drilling. Okay, we haven't checked in with lithium Argentina's YPF seeks lithium expansion. Argentina's state oil company launched talks with a major Chinese e electric vehicle battery producer in a bid to form a strategic partnership in lithium production. There you go. Uh, we just heard about how U.S. natural gas prices are crashing, and then we have this story, U.S. national gas prices continue upward rise. All right, we were just talking about China's interest in uh, Argentinian lithium, here is China interested in Afghanistan's lithium potential. Several Chinese firms have started on-site inspections of potential lithium mines in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, Jiangxi Copper has already taken over Afghanistan's large, largest copper mine. You better believe that China is taking absolute full advantage uh, over there with that uh, clusterfuck going on over there in Afghanistan. They're cheering that. Um, all right. Here is... China goes for coal to chemical technology. China has launched production at its 400,000 tons per year coal to ethylene glycol plant. Uh, so what they're doing, 400,000 tons, they're not even, they're turning it into other stuff to burn. Uh, Anyway, and we're going to wind up with uh, EU carbon prices shoot through the roof. 
the European Union's carbon prices reached an all-time high this week, hitting 75 pounds per metric ton on Thursday. Uh, there you go. $75. Well, pounds kind of close to dollars. Anyway, guys, I could go on and on with this, but it is such a spectacularly gorgeous day. Now that the metal uh, the metal pickers have cleaned up a portion of the junkyard, I need to crank up my gas-powered chop saw on a stick and start hacking away uh, at the jungle over here next door I highly advise you get out there on this gorgeous springtime day in December and do some weed whacking with your gas powered whacker while you still can bye guys